So Bill, I have a service provider that wants me to sign a written contract, but I am not sure if I should. Well Kathy, you know businesses enter into contracts every day. Yes, but I can't remember the last time I signed a contract. True, but sometimes the contracts are in tiny print on the back of a purchase order, while other times they are in the software being installed on a computer. Good point. Even shaking hands on a deal with someone can be considered a legal contract in some cases. That is fine, but what does it do for me? Good question. Written contracts can protect both parties. People's memories fail, but written contracts don't forget. How about an example? What if the other party suddenly remembers an incentive clause that was not part of the agreement? With a written contract, that question is quickly resolved. I didn't think of that point. Well written contracts prevent lawsuits by clarifying the major point so that a judge can ask a few questions, read the contract and say that there is no basis for a lawsuit. That does sound good. As you can imagine, not having a trial or arbitration is normally the best outcome since there are far fewer legal fees. I like that. Written contracts are helpful going into a relationship, but they are essential going out of one. At the start, everyone is looking forward to how well everything is going to go. I see. But when the contract is ending, someone is usually disappointed or worse. When the contract spells out how the parties split up, the chances of a lawsuit are far lower. You make some good points, Bill. I think having a written contract is a good idea after all. Thanks, Kathy. Contracts can be annoying to read and negotiate, but a written contract can save time, money and lots of frustration down the road.